My name is Dawn McAdams and I'm the coordinator of health services here in Richland 2. I'd like to speak with you today about the importance of adolescent vaccines. As we get ready to begin a new school year, it is important to make an appointment with your child's health care provider for a wellness checkup and obtain any vaccinations your child may need to protect them from vaccine preventable illnesses. Vaccinations help us develop herd immunity. Herd immunity means that enough people in a community are protected from an illness because they have already been vaccinated against the illness or they have already had the disease. Herd immunity makes it difficult for a disease to spread, such as whooping cough. All vaccines may cause some level of temporary side effects, such as arm soreness, headache, muscle aches, fatigue, low-grade fever. This is just your body mounting an immune response to the vaccine. Today we'll begin with the Tdap vaccine, which is required for all students in 7th through 12th grade. The Tdap vaccine is usually administered at ages 11 to 12 and is a booster dose of tetanus, diphtheria, and most importantly, pertussis. Pertussis is commonly called whooping cough and it is highly contagious. Pertussis can lead to pneumonia, seizures, and death in young infants and the elderly who may not be vaccinated. Remember herd immunity? Again, it is required for school in August for all 7th through 12th grade students. Next, we'll talk about HPV. HPV stands for the human papillomavirus. The HPV vaccine has been around for more than 12 years and it protects your child from six types of cancer. This vaccine is usually administered with the Tdap and meningococcal vaccine at the 11 to 12 year old well check. Two doses are given six months apart. However, if the series is started after age 15, three doses are given over six months. The next vaccine is the meningococcal vaccine, and it is also recommended for 11 to 12 year olds when they receive their Tdap and their first dose of HPV. The meningococcal vaccine protects against meningococcal disease, which can lead to infections in the brain, spinal cord, and bloodstream, and can lead to death. The first dose is given at age 11 to 12, and the second dose after age 16. The influenza vaccine is an annual vaccine to protect against influenza, commonly known as the flu. Flu transmission is much lower in our vaccinated populations. Everyone ages six months and older should get one every year. The last vaccine I will talk about is the COVID-19 vaccine. The COVID-19 vaccine provides up to 95% protection against severe illness and hospitalization for many of the variant strains of COVID-19. The COVID-19 vaccine cannot cause COVID-19 as there is no live virus in the vaccine. The Pfizer vaccine is currently the only one recommended for 12 years and older. Ages 12 to 17 can only receive the Pfizer vaccine, while ages 18 and above are eligible for the Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, and the Janssen vaccine. The best vaccine is the one in your arm. Please reach out to your healthcare provider, to me, or your school nurse if you have any questions. You can also visit the DHEC website at scdhec.gov and search for school immunizations and you will see all the information flyers on the vaccines that I have just mentioned. Thank you and have a good day.